viewers, subscribers. Welcome back to the channel, you know, Statistic TV. And we are here again, people, with another news update. Have you seen Ricardo Evans, sound system operator, missing for more than a month? One of June White's greatest wish is to celebrate her fiancé Ricardo Evans' 43th birthday with him on Saturday, December 17th, but the sound system operator cannot be found. People, subscribe to the channel, like and share. You see me? Turn on those notification bell. Sit back and relax and listen to the news update here. Viewers, subscribers, this is unlike him. He will not do this. I really want him back home. In fact, everyone wants him back home. His parents are not taking it too well and his children are re really worried. It would mean the world to me to spend his birthday with him. I had plans for him. He would not go away and leave us just like this. It has only been sleepless nights. For everyone, White said. Reports from the Arborview police are that about 5.21 p.m. on November the 6th, Evans was last seen at home in Arborview wearing a blue marina blue shorts and a pair of black and white slippers. All efforts to contact him have proven futile. He is of dark complexion, slim built and about 178 centimeters, 5 feet 10 inches tall, people. White said the last time she spoke to Evans was the evening of November the 6th. He was supposed to pick up his car at a garage in East Kingston and the mechanic said he had done so. I called him on a video call five minutes after 5 p.m. on November 6th and told him to come for his dinner but he said he's going for his car. I didn't see him come home but I didn't take it as anything. Because I knew he had a gig that night and thought he had went there and gone to his other house because he lives on and off with me, she said. Following morning, White said, when she tried to contact Evans, his phone went directly to voicemail. She also received a voice note that was circulating that he had gone missing. I have been devastated from her, her device note. One of the guys who gave him the car had said that Ricardo had pushed off the panic button on his car. The Sunday night, the car was last seen in the vicinity of half a tree. People, if you see Ricardo or know him whereabouts, you know just contact the Abbeville police. You see what I'm saying? And you know, the statistic boss and I'm out.